Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg, and I'm going to talk today about telomere testing and the benefits of telomere testing. Telomere, the telomere is the cap on the end of the chromosome, and that's analogous to the auglet on the end of your shoelace, the cap on the end of your shoelace. If we cut the cap on the end of the shoelace too short, then of course the shoelace frays. And the same thing happens with the telomere and the DNA. This telomere, or cap, on the end of the DNA protects the end of the DNA from binding to stray proteins or even binding to itself. In childhood, at about 10 years of age, that telomere reaches a maximum length of approximately 10,000 base pairs. With each cell division, the telomere gets shorter and shorter. In addition, when the individual is under a lot of stress, a lot of oxidative stress, such as they're eating too much and they're overweight, they're obese, or they drink too much alcohol, or they smoke too much, the point is they're under a lot of stress, what we call oxidative stress. That telomere shrinks very rapidly. And as a matter of fact, oxidative stress is the major factor that accelerates the shrinkage of the telomere. So what do we know from the literature about short telomeres? Well, we know as you get older, the telomere gets shorter. We know that if you're aging poorly, the telomere gets shorter more quickly. And we know, and this is the most significant point, that those with extremely short telomeres are at great risks for disease such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So we don't want to have rapidly deteriorating telomeres. We like to keep them long. Uh, as much as possible. Now, there are different ways to measure telomeres, and, and there, there is a company that measures mean or average telomere. But what has been discovered over the past several years is what's most important is the percentage of critically short telomeres. And the reason is, as the, as the telomere becomes critically short, defined generally as less than 4,000 or 3,000 base pairs, the telomere is so short that it can no longer protect the DNA and the DNA can no longer replicate. So what happens is that cell is done dividing and then it enters a new state and that state is called cellular replicative senescence. Now that cell may just stay in that senescent phase but it also may go on to become a mutated cell and it can become a cancer stem cell. So you can see it's certainly in our best interest not to have very short telomeres because we're then either talking about cellular senescence, cell death, or perhaps even worse, cancer. There is a company called LifeLength out of Spain that currently has the only assay that can measure the percentage of critically short telomeres. And remember, that's what we're really looking at because if you have a high, a high percentage of critically short telomeres, then you're most likely going to be facing some serious disease if you're not already facing serious disease. Well, why would we want to measure something like that? Do we want to know what's going on? Do we want to know how poorly we're doing if we are doing poorly? Well, the answer is yes if there's something you can do about it. And there are things that we can do about it. For example, if we measure telomeres and we see a, 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 a large percentage of critically short telomeres, and we measure simultaneously the oxidative stress in the blood, in the DNA. And we quantify that. We can say, okay, here's where you are now in time. You've got a large amount of oxidative stress and you've got a large percentage of critically short telomeres. It's time to change things. And what, what is the time to change? It's time when necessary to change the lifestyle. The patient needs to become lean if they're overweight. The patient needs to exercise. They need to stop smoking. They need to be drinking less alcohol. Anything that promotes oxidative stress needs to be changed. And this can really be a wake-up call. It, in addition to that, the individual can start on an antioxidant regimen, perhaps both oral and or intravenous antioxidant regimen. And it's possible to show that the percentage of critically short telomeres has decreased. Well now, this is not just science fiction, this is science. And this can be done. And at the Institute for Healthy Aging and Sanctuary, Sanctuary Medical Center, we are now offering telomere testing, but not just mean telomere testing, but testing the percentage of critically short telomeres. And we're doing that effective immediately and now instituting a program to help people with 
telomeres that are uh, prematurely aged, or I should say, should say premature, prematurely shortened. So I'm excited to be able to offer this, and I'm excited that Sanctuary Medical Center and the Institute for Healthy Aging can begin this program immediately and help individuals with their aging process. Thank you.